with your host, Nasifa and Sola. Today is June 3rd, 2008 and it is Tuesday. And of course, as usual, it is a beautiful, brand name Caribbean day right here in paradise. Good morning and welcome once again to Coffee Break. Today's show is going to be an interesting one. Well, I've got news for you. What you say? You have news? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Well, I have news to share too, but curiosity killing me. She have news. What it is you have? <laughs> it's bad enough, right? Mm -hmm. That electric company turn off your current whenever they feel like. True, true. But could you imagine coming to your house and there's no electricity and the company can't explain to you why? What is it? Wait, what are you talking about, Sola? Now see for girl, they cut off this person electric. So you don't know the person torn vex, of course. Because they don't pay the electric bill mm -hmm. and they may owe them the money. Right. So they go out to the office demanding some kind of explanation. You mm -hmm. know what I tell these people? What? Well, no, no, rush me. Come on, oh gosh, curiosity killing me. They tell the people mm -hmm. that the office did not give nobody permission to cut off them electricity. Okay. And furthermore, more, let me know who is that chop off the current. So somebody take it up on the... Uh -huh. what? Uh -huh. what else? Go ahead, tell me. Imagine that. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> In the sweet it's part. Mm. In the sweet part. Then the tell the disconnectee mm. that he would have to pay the reconnection fee if he want the electric turn back on. You believe that? <laughs> the disconnectee disconnect. have to turn on his electricity by paying a re connection fee? Imagine. That's what you're trying to tell me? If I believe that? Mm -hmm. If I believe that? If I believe that. Well, June, be no hoof a dark night, I tell you. Because mm -hmm. it's not me and them with them kind of restart with them retarded statements there. It's just mm -hmm. not me. I mean, you can't tell me how my electricity cut off. You can't tell me who take it upon themselves to cut off my electricity. The idea. You're even going to tell me that you did not authorize anybody to cut my electricity. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, I paid my bill and I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? More shop people shopping. You know something? Not even a governor could make me pay every connection for you know. And mind you, by the time I reach home to my house, the electricity better be on you know. Or one big steaming hot pile of load of stink Ooh. gonna hit the fan. Take my advice. <laughs> that is just part of the melee girl. Uh -huh. Got some more news for you. And believe me, this one got me blue vex way beyond stink. Blue vex? I normally the one ready to take off people's face with stupidness. She blue vex. I have to hear this. What's this crap? That you hear about Antigua making money off of Montserrat. What do you mean? Girl, all the time I think it's police surveying the area. Mm -hmm. And you know that Antigua fly the tourists making money off of Montserrat. Huh? Now tell me that in a load of crap. If it stink. If it stink, eh? If it ain't stinking them. That situation there were you talking about just about decaying as far as I'm concerned. Every minute you hear somebody in government talking about how our tourism is so 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 fragile and non-existent and it's on a steady decline. You trying to tell me none of those geniuses in government could come up with a solution to solve that problem? Hmm. No wonder so much people show up in our country and behave as if small shop people stupid. You know that's right. I know. What if they really think we retarded though? Rain spring, you know, mm -hmm. and putting all these pipes and things like that. So it was like rain spring, and 
don't have to hear about red. You don't hear about red spray? No. So ask my friend if they know about this red spray. Mm -hmm. Can my friend tell me? What? Red spray? What red spray are you talking about? What are you trying to say? Wait, wait, wait. What are you telling me? That the red you're talking about some place where we don't know nothing about? That, that is exactly what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> so I happen to run into some people, you know? That I know that born and raised out here. Mm -hmm. So I asked them if they know about this rare spring or where it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it was. Where what was? They never hear about the rare spring. So I had to describe the location that I hear from the radio. <laughs> you know, the people inform me mm -hmm. that it is known as rare springs. Uh -huh. It is known as this Keynes River. Yeah, I heard that before. Keynes River. Keynes is River or oh, something yeah. like Keynes that. Oh, yeah. Keynes is River. river. Uh -huh. Or Tank here, River. Yeah, or Tank. Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, heard, I heard my grandmother them talking about that. Yes, yes. Okay. That makes sense. Then there was this one man one night who came out deaf on my eardrum. Allow me to know that they call it Jan O. Jan O. Oh, where are you coming from with Jan O? I don't know about that one. Mind you, he's the only one that hear that one name. But I really want to know which name it really is. Let's not go there, please, because I hear an uh, kind of address and name in my shirt right now that I didn't hear before. It's like they're making it up as they go. <laughs> they need to make up mind about this fairy business if you ask me. Really? How many months rations you know could afford almost $600 to go the distance of 15 minutes? Huh? Well, after you done buy your ticket, what money you got left back to do your shopping? Six hundred. Well. Any aircraft from Montreal Airport would think they get my $600 to fly a 15 minute distance. Well crazy. And if I have an emergency, you know what I can do? I would take their 15 minute flight and convert it into a 15 minute swim. You hear me tell you? Like old people say, when you have no goat, you eat hoof. Girl, what stupidness you talking? You know you can't even swim too. I will make you take a 15 minute flight is the same as a 15 minute swim. Let's see if we're going to something that is wonderful to you know. <laughs> ah, hey, hey, you heard the ladies? Mojo don't have no comment. They say like, it's hard to find on the island. They always running out of something. If it ain't flour, it is eggs. If it ain't eggs, it is butter. If it ain't butter, it is rice and no milk. Why the heck I follow the crazy woman advice and find myself up by the exclusion zone and get one of them cows there to milk? <laughs> milk cow? Me? I could see myself getting one hell of a kick trying some kind of crazy thing like that. I don't know my head from behind when it comes to milking cow. I might pull this up and tail instead of eat breast. I know. Besides, you know what is really, really 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 bad at me. Yeah. Why this country always run out of everything but never run out of alcohol? Let's see friend, you know what they say? Alcohol don't spoil and people about here need a sip every day, trust me. Alcohol don't spoil and people need a sip every day, eh? Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then the government should hire the person who will supply this country here with alcohol, for supply it with everything else and then we solve the problem, we won't run out of nothing no more. Uh -huh. You know you make a good point there. I know. We don't try explaining that to the government. Try explaining it to the government? Yeah. Try explaining it to the government? You know what I like the government to explain to me? How they find 500000 yes hun, $500,000 to house, feed, and employ the refugees from Sri Lanka when they have monstrations right now who are unemployed and starving. I would like them to explain that to me. No, 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 no. I hear you right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Refugees. Refugees. What? Employed. Employed. Being fed. Being fed. And getting what housing? And getting housing. So wait, tell me. What about the monstrations that we evacuated 12 years ago that still ain't got no place to live? What happened? Did we mention them to the British? Well, if you look at the situation, right? Obviously, the British have a softer heart in, a softer spot in their heart for the refugees for, instead of their own sons and daughters, you know? That's how I, I mean, look at the situation. Well, in that case, I go into the government first thing tomorrow and declare myself as a refugee because I want my food. 
My house and my money. We want sweet life too. So uh, you're right. You're very right. So when you get it ready to go, please call me. I'm not joking, you know. I serious, you know. Call me, cause as of right now, I am a refugee too. <laughs> In the meantime, check us again next week, where you get the lowdown of Mushra's hearsay right here on Coffee, Coffee Break. Break.